Welcome back to the channel, guys. Happy Sunday. This is my 99 Chaparral 1930 SS Sport I bought about four weeks ago. And if you guys have been watching every Sunday, our last episode, we actually just gel coated the whole boat. And if you guys missed that, go ahead, check out the previous video, go check out the channel. It was a long process, but it's well worth it. And you guys will probably learn something along the way. So far, this boat project, it's been going really well. And I've learned a lot from it. If you guys are watching part one, we pressure washed the entire boat, it looked great. And we also cleaned up those marine seats. And I showed you guys a trick I learned, it worked really good. And that same video, we stripped the decals off. And in part two, we sanded the boat and got it prepped for the epoxy primer. And in part three, we epoxy primer the entire boat and did some other stuff too. And the epoxy primer laid on really well. If you guys missed the last video, like I said, we did gel coat the entire boat and I did make a few mistakes, but I learned from them and I was able to teach you guys through the process of what to do, what not to do. If you guys haven't checked out the channel yet, go ahead, head over there, check out the channel, see our other work we've been doing. I know you guys will like it and I enjoy you guys checking out the content. All right, so this is something cool about this boat. It actually had the original air cleaner on it, and it tells you everything about the motor on it. Ignition time, cylinder firing order, uh, spark plugs, plug gap, everything you want to know. And I like how it has the idle RPM and neutral on there, 650. Let's see where we're idling at right now. That's, dude, that's dead on. That is dead on, man. It warmed up a little bit, so let's see how it does, man. I'm putting gear. Yeah. Let's see if we're getting weird noises. Here we go, folks. Going in gear. Uh. All right. Oh, yeah, folks. There it is. There it is. Ran a little too rich. Maybe it's an exhaust leak, but I feel like if it was exhausted, we'd have a bunch of water going in. You know what I mean? Let's try it again. Dude, bolts are staying. Um, sitting about one, sitting about 130 almost. Oil pressure's good. some clunky noise. It's almost like it's not going in the gear all the way, you know? Mm, yeah. I don't know. We haven't reached full temp yet, but it is slowly building temp. And I was messing with the air cleaner and it shut off. I think it closed the choke by accident. We're gonna keep running it and we're gonna see if it maintains the proper temp. We're gonna see what happens. Let's do it. I don't know how old the fuel is in here. I think when I bought it from my neighbors, they said the last time they took it out was like a year ago or two years ago. Probably got some old fuel in it. But all the gauges are working, man. That's 
freedom. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> Dude, she goes right back in idle. That's nice. What's the temp at? Temp sitting at 150. Let's see the power steering works. Oh yeah. yeah. That's smooth, dude. Way better than the other boat. Way better. Let's give it another rev. Let's see if it goes in reverse, actually. I'll check that. Ooh. That's not good. It's like it wasn't going in the gear. It sounded real bad. Yeah. How's the linkage look? You zoom in on that linkage right there moving? Too dark. It's not like that, man. Let's, let's put it on the list. I do not want to break that out drive. All right, so we just ran the motor and everything was really good. Had great oil pressure, maintained temp. The voltage stayed the same, surprisingly. I even measured with my multimeter and it still worked. I don't know how, but it's doing good. So our only issue is the shift linkage. This shift linkage right here. So I think our game plan here to troubleshoot it, we're going to take the shift cable off and we're going to pull it by hand because it needs to come out to go out of reverse. So we're going to pull that by hand and if it does engage then it's a problem with our shift cable action. We'll have to tighten our shift cable linkage. So, so I think this is going to work. I have a really good feeling about it. I don't know. Let's pull it by hand. I just got to make sure I don't get my arm caught in the belt or something crazy like that. Mm. I'm going to change the subject real quick. These are my favorite glasses I've ever owned. They were way cheaper than my pit vipers. They weren't the free ones I got from the military, but these right here, these are awesome, man. Heat waves, I love these glasses. I'm not getting paid to say this or anything, I promise you guys, but I love them. They're awesome, man. They're awesome. All right, guys, so like I was saying, we disconnected this shift cable right here, and we should be able to, let's see. Yeah, so that's gonna be forward. That's going to be reverse. So we're going to see in this process of troubleshooting, this should tell us if it's a cable problem or it's an outdrive problem. So I'm going to have Noah go ahead and turn this motor on. I'm going to try not to get caught in this belt. Let's see if it works. Like I said, we're gonna troubleshoot this cable, got disconnected, we're gonna pull on and see what happens. So let's fire the motor up, check it out. All right, fired right up. All right, let's do uh, forward. All right, we're in forward. Neutral, now reverse. What is that noise? Let's, let's go in the back of the boat. Check it out. Alright, so, told you about the sound from the back of the boat. I'm fairly confident it is the U-joint, so let's see if we can hear with the microphone. Let's put the microphone, like, right up, right up to here. So after you guys heard that, I hope you're thinking the same thing I am. It's probably the U-joints, um, which means we gotta rip that out drive off. Why is my wife coming out of the house? I know. What's up, guys? I know you guys have been waiting for the real content. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. The, the, real, content the real content is content. here. You better put this in your video because also make this the clickbait because it's how you're gonna get the views, babe. Ooh. What are you gonna do, though? This, just, just my face. You're just gonna be in the back? Oh, no, th this is the video. This, right here. This is all you need. What? 
cut. What is she talking about? <laughs> what is, you know you're not allowed out of the house. You know that. <laughs> Permission to speak? No. You have stuff on your shirt. That's, you're welcome. Stop. <laughs> she, she almost fell. Because I don't trust you. <laughs> Back to the boat. We gotta take the out drive off. It's fairly simple, so I'll show you guys what we gotta do real quick. Gotta take that banjo clip off. C clip, some of you guys call it. I've heard that too. Not really C clip, but banjo clip. Take that off. Then we're just gonna hammer that rod out. That's gonna disconnect our arms. And then we're gonna take these six bolts out. We're gonna slide this bad boy off. And that's gonna show us the U joints in what condition they're in. Because I have a feeling, a very strong feeling, that they are bad. <laughs> 